Next year is a big year for dairy farming in Europe. With new targets to increase milk production by 50%, it's set to get a lot busier around the farm. Come on, girls. Four. All right, I'll have a go, will I? <laughs> I think she's okay. She all right? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll let you get back to it. The long, hard hours of manual labor spent in conventional milking parlors may be a thing of the past with the introduction of robotic milking systems. Bernadette O'Brien is the project coordinator of robotic milking at Chagask's Research and Innovation Center. Bernadette, what we're looking at here is the future of farming. Can you explain how robotic milking works? Well, basically, the cow is milked by a robot. The main point about it, I suppose, is that it is a voluntary system where the cow decides herself. Uh, she's out in the paddock and she decides herself when she wishes to be milked. In the conventional system, you see sometimes cows being rushed along a roadway and then into a packed collecting yard. There's a lot of noise and that going on in the milking parlour, and then they're being rushed out again. Whereas in this system here, you can see the cows move into the yard, and then they move gradually, one at a time, uh, into the unit, and then move off uh, again after milking. The system begins by cleaning each of the cow's teats. Each cow is fitted with a sensor, so the robot can identify her and automatically locate her teats using stored GPS coordinates. The clusters then attach automatically and milking begins, all without the need for human intervention. The farmer is kept updated with quality and performance reports sent directly to their computer or phone. What sort of data do you get from a machine like this? Uh, well, at every milking, we get uh, the milk yield of the cow, uh, we get the composition of the milk, the fat protein and lactose, uh, we get an indication of the cell count of the cow, and we also get the activity measures of the cow between milkings. This data, automatically generated by the system, provides crucial information on each individual cow, which would otherwise be extremely challenging to collect with today's expanding herd sizes. The cows come in, the queue up, uh, once the into the robot, the robot reads her individual tag. It has a lot of information stored on that cow. It knows how much that cow is doing per hour. So the winch comes in and knows how much milk she should give. So that if she has a problem, if she doesn't give what she's supposed to give, she will be marked, highlighted on my problem page. It's much more hygienic than a traditional parlor. Plus you're monitoring it every day. If there's any sign of an infection, it shows up straight away and you can take her out and treat her. The first couple of weeks are hard when you're training in the cows and trying to get them to move and you think they will never move for you. But after about maybe six weeks, they start to move themselves and then you can relax. It gives you a better quality of life, yeah. Well, now in the mornings, my first job is to get the kids out of school. It's not to make the cows. Um, and there's a lot less stress in the house. It's saving me about two and a half hours to three hours a day. Yeah, I definitely recommend every fellow should have a look at it. Um, when I did it, I said to myself, I'd hate to be 65 and, hit, and say that I should have put in a robot 20 years ago when I was making the change. Robotic milking systems have been commercially available since the early 90s and are widely used in mainland Europe. There, cows are predominantly fed indoors and the reward of feed motivates the cow to present herself for milking. The challenge in Ireland is, how do you encourage cows to enter the system when they're happily grazing on grass out in the fields? Chagask is conducting a European trial to examine how robotic milking can be integrated with pasture-based grazing. This is a three-pasture system, is that right? How does it work? So that's correct. The farm is divided into three separate blocks, an A and a B and a C. Um, each of the blocks are roughly the same area, so the cows spend eight hours in each of these blocks throughout the day. Once their pasture is grazed well enough, are motivated to leave the paddock, go to the yard, and they have to pass through the milking yard before they can get onto fresh new grass. So the incentive to go to the yard is basically to get onto new grass in the next pasture. And the potential is there for a cow to be milked up to three times a day. The cows all wear an identifying tag, which can be either on their leg, their neck or their ear. Once the cow goes to the milking yard, and depending on what time it was since she last milked, um, the computer or the robot decides whether she's due for milking or not. 
Um, in this system, I guess, the individualised behaviour of the cows is very evident. You see cows predominantly um, going through the gates by themselves and accessing the robot by themselves and making the, the decision themselves to do that. Whether or not this technology is going to take off in Ireland is yet to be seen, but one thing's for sure, after spending a day working with these ladies, I can see dairy farmers need all the help they can get. Come on, girl.